Aaron, the wait is over. Fight week is here. You're taking on Sammy Vasquez Jr. as a co-main event of Garcia versus Guerrero this Saturday night. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Feeling comfortable. I mean, best shape ever. Next season's best fight. We're ready. Do you see yourself as the toughest test for your undefeated opponent, Sammy Vasquez Jr.? Oh yeah. I mean, it's just uh, you know, it is where it is. You know. Um, I hope he's ready, you know, and yeah, I'm ready, man, and, and that's what they're saying, but you know, at the end of the day, just two guys in there, and uh, the best man's going to win, you know? Okay. Uh, if you come off victorious on January 23rd, do you consider uh, this to be your biggest win in your boxing career? Yeah, for sure, you know, it's because, uh, you know, the, the more you win, the more you win, you get tougher out position, so of course, yeah, I'll be like, you know, yeah, my, 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 my biggest win in my career. Okay. Comparing the attendance from your fight with Devon Alexander in Arizona to the one at Staples Center this Saturday night. Uh, will you see the difference? Um, I don't know, man. It was pretty packed over there, you know, uh, in the end of Arizona. Uh, the stadium fits 19,000 19, people, so it was pretty packed. So hopefully, hopefully they, this time, so it's, it's on weekend, so hopefully more people will come in and support me and, uh, and, and pack the Staples Center. Okay. You think you've proven some of your credits wrong by taking on three tough opponents in a row? Oh yeah, yeah, they don't know, you know, they just see what's on paper, but they don't know what we go through, the, the hard work we put we put in, and you know, once we do all this hard work, you know, it pays off in the ring, and that's what a lot of critics and these boxing people that ride don't really know what we go through, you know? Yeah. Would boxing critics see you as a serious threat in the welterweight division if you beat Sammy Vasquez Jr. this Saturday? Well, I hope so, you know, I hope so, because, you know, once you get in there, it's a different story. Everybody says, oh, you know, it's got looks easy, but once you get in the ring, it's a whole different story. So hopefully, yeah, for sure. Which of his previous opponents do you think has given him the most uh, problems, Sammy Vasquez Jr.? Uh, I'm not sure, man. You know, he, he's quick, and uh, I mean, uh, I, I think uh, Wally Matosa, I think, uh, gave him a good fight, okay. but Wally was just standing there. He, just, he, just he was dropped earlier in his career against Berlin Abreu. I think it was like his seventh or eighth professional fight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, has he faced anybody as experienced as you in his boxing career? I don't think so. You know, he's fought some good fighters, but nobody with the experience of me, so it's going to be a good fight. Okay. Two young fighters to uh, train uh, with you here at the Azteca Boxing Club on January 23rd. Sergio Quiroz and Jose Gomez, what do you think of their fights? Oh yeah, man, they're, uh, they're, they're in great shape. We train together and we're like, um, we're coached by, by the same trainer. And um, yeah, we're, they're ready and, and, uh, and of course they, they're going to come up victorious on January 23rd. Aaron, is there anything else you want to say to your fans before yeah, fight yeah, night? Yeah, just go, come support me. Uh, January 23rd, come to the Hippo Center. For the time, uh, a big thing to my sponsors, Short Long Loans and Lucas Oya, of course. And um, just a big shout out to him and uh, everybody that follows me on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, thank you for your time, Aaron. PBC card on the Fox Network, January 23rd, Staples Center. Sammy Vasquez Jr. versus Aaron Asesino Martinez. Thank you.